Good morning. I just wanted to check in with all of you guys because we have just finished week one of my one minute mornings. We have done seven one minute mornings in a row and I've had a couple of people reach out to me and ask a couple of questions about this new series. So I just wanted to tell you a little bit more about it. So as I introduced on the very first day, December 1st, um, I'm doing this every single day. I am recording a one minute writing session and all I provide to you are your topic and your tone. Uh, first of all, somebody asked me where I got those topics and tones and it's just whatever I happen to like latch on to that day. Um, for instance, uh, when I was, wrote my very first one, it was coffee and the tone of comfort. I was literally doing that one minute morning while my French press was uh, prepping my coffee and I was getting excited about having that first drink in the morning. Um, I was traveling, I was down uh, with my best friend in Chicago and so I have two in a row, one in a city and then one in travel and that's those were my thoughts that day. Um, honestly, football I'm a huge football fan so that was that was something that came on the Sunday uh, the the other one that the independence and anticipation where I talked about a dorm room um, I I was visiting uh, my daughter that night who's living in her own apartment um, and I just was thinking about how you know exciting it is to have that first place uh, so that's where that came um, the snowflake honestly I was just thinking about the those I was thinking about momentum. Um, I was thinking about, you know, when you're you're really diving into something and how it just picks up momentum and gets better. And so I kind of had that momentum idea in my head and, and um, I really wanted to, I used a snowflake to sort of like capture what momentum feels like. I'm thinking that way a lot in my, in my uh, career right now, a lot of the momentum that I have with a lot of my new books and stuff that are coming out. And then, um, the dogs, oh my gosh, today was super exciting because we just found out that our dog who has been um, going through a lot of heartworm treatment, unfortunately, in the last six months, um, he he was just given the go ahead to be able to be full energy again. Uh, we've had to keep him low energy. He's a, a highly energetic dog. And so um, I was thinking about how excited he's going to be to run again. And so, so honestly, the topics and the tones, they come from the things that I'm experiencing um, literally in that moment in my life or thinking about in, the, in my life at the time that I sit down and I do those, those one minute mornings. So, so that's where these topics have come from. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping that you're, you're joining along, you're getting an opportunity to write with me for just one minute one minute a day and if you do that very first thing of writing you know you're gonna see I'm, i've put my own sentences up here so that you can see they're not great sentences they're not great paragraphs this is not like this is just just go just do it do it uncorrected do it do it plain do it simple um and and what you come up with isn't necessarily great but it's it's getting you in this 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 daily habit the very first thing that you're doing in the morning that very first minute you're actually writing so i hope that you will share some of your topics and tones with me you know go ahead and comment wherever it is that you're seeing these these videos whether it's on on TikTok, on youtube on facebook on instagram reels whatever it is that you're seeing i wish that you would share with me hey you have an idea for a topic and a tone maybe i will feature that one day i also want to see your sentences um be vulnerable like me and put out the work no matter how uh, how simplistic it may seem, how unedited it looks. I will say that I sometimes edit the punctuation when I actually post it, post them all afterward. Um, and I edit some of the spelling when I post it, but I don't change the words. The words are whatever came out in one minute. And there's one day that I literally laughed at myself because I couldn't write. I couldn't write fast enough. I believe it was the travel day. Um, and if, if you look back at that video, I kind of laughed at myself at the end of it because I kept pausing and stopping and going, but I was still, I was doing it. I was getting out that one minute. It's the shortest one. It's not great. Write the junk, write the crap. Because the thing is, as writers, it's, it's more about that discipline of writing. It's more about that. God, I have to write every day. I have to take myself seriously every day to write. And, and I want you guys all to get in that habit of writing every day. Um, so this, this one minute morning series, it's a daily routine. It's a daily routine. So I'm going to be posting the one minute morning 
every single day. I, I encourage you to join me to share, share your ideas, share your sentences, um, play along, uh, write with me. And, and I, I would uh, love to see your results of that. I have a couple other series coming as well that are going to include writing. So you're gonna have the, the two minute tactile Tuesday as opposed to giving a topic and a tone, you're going to get a location and a sense. So those are going to be very sensory based writing experiences. Um, we're gonna have a five minute fantastical Friday I'm gonna keep that one a surprise, but basically I'm sharing a, a couple of things and you're gonna to have to write a five minute fantasy scene. And then we're gonna have the 16 minute Saturday and that's gonna round out all of my actual weekly writing videos where I'm just having you write with me. Um, and the, the big deal about all of that is if you were to do all of my little series, my one minute mornings, my two minute tactile Tuesday, my five minute fantasy Friday and my 16 minute Saturday, you will have written it for a half an hour every week. And I know a half an hour doesn't sound like much, but discipline starts somewhere. And as writers, you should be writing every day. As writers, you should have large chunks of writing. I'm just bringing you a half an hour of writing. And if that half an hour a week is something that gets your creative juices flowing, if that half an hour is something that that gets, gets you into that habits before, into the habit of writing before you start building your own, then I've done my job as, as a writing mentor for you. Um, be sure to check out uh, redwritesbooks.com uh, because I have all sorts of great writing resources for you. Uh, some free, I have a writing mentorship that is very limited that I'm filling right now. Um, and a lot of other opportunities for you to uh, develop your craft, sell your craft, um, grow as a writer and make writing um, your routine bigger than a hobby, actually a career, you can become a working writer. Uh, so I hope you've enjoyed the first week of the One Minute Mornings. Uh, I've boldly shared my sometimes awful sentences and paragraphs here with you. And I hope you follow this and all of my other series. Have a great day.